movies like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, The Born Identity, and others, depicts the possibility of being able to erase our memories with technology. It is a theme that is often used in many sci-fi stories, as it is the implementation of false memories. As it often happens, science fiction is not too far from reality. Ask yourself, what is a memory? Memory is the process in which information is encoded and stored in our brains, and to be able to access those memories when desired. Memories are the result of a synaptic connection between neurons by which humans can retain past experiences. They are recreated when the neurons enforces the intensity of the synapse. Memories are the images of the past stored in our minds. It is defined as the reproduction of something previously learned or experienced. Now then, how can we erase memories? We know that amnesia is the result of a severe trauma to the head, but it's not practical because it requires brain injury in order to cause memory loss. What kind of evidence exists on the topic? Scientists from the Neuroscience Center of the University of California have managed to completely remove specific memories in mice using a technique called optogenetics, meaning using light that has been infused between living tissue in the brain to manipulate the neurons. In their experiments, the scientists used genetically modified mice. When activating their neurons, they would light up with a green phosphorescent light. These neurons created a protein that would allow them the ability to deactivate nerve neurons. That way, they discovered that the neurons were activated in the cerebral cortex and the hippocampus. Both of these work in conjunction in remembering past episodic events when they learn and retrieve memories, and at the same time, deactivate those neurons with light using a fiber optic cable. Thanks to the phosphorescent light, scientists are able to identify the cells that participate in the learning process and that these would activate when it was necessary in recovering of what was learned. By turning off those cells of the hippocampus with light, they discovered that the mice would forget what they have learned. This hypothesis was confirmed when tested and proven that deactivating other different cells of the hippocampus did not affect the memories of the mice. As explained by Dr. Kasumasa and Brian Whitman, leaders in the field, this proves implicitly for the first time that the cerebral cortex cannot store memories on its own. It needs the help of the hippocampus. This is a huge breakthrough in science, and at the same time, it brings us one step closer in being able to control our own memories, similar to a computer file. What are your thoughts on the matter? If granted the opportunity to modify or erase part of your memories, would you do it? Or maybe you already have, and you just do not remember.